The wait is finally over for me. The AOSP Extended aka AEX ROM for my Lenovo A6010 is up. This was the scenario 4 months ago since Android Audio was released for my device. And here we are in the month of September with stable Android Pie 9.0 custom ROM for my Lenovo A6010. What's up people, this is Deban from Android Limited and let's take a live for my device. With that being said, let's fire up the intro. Nitrogen OS Well, that's what brought Android Pie for Lenovo A6010. And specifically speaking, I'll be covering the features of Android Pie in coordination of my device only. The first topic being the design elements and my oh my, a total overhaul from Oreo. We now get more rounded corners, more colorful UI, sort of Samsung like and some sweet animations and gestures that does help improve the user experience. The quick setting icons are rounded and the volume slider has been moved to the right for user's ease. Now let's talk about performance. The apps are opening faster, no random reboots, no forced closures. Just a minor issue. The screen of flash light gesture doesn't seem to work, which is of course not a big deal breaker for me. And talking about gestures, we do get the swipe up gestures on the navigation bar to get to the recent menu. Customizations We all get the generic customizations like the status bar, the quick settings, the navigation keys, lock screen, and etc. And what seems to be not working is the lock screen customization and I'm totally fine with it. Uh, well, I don't need any customizations for my lock screen, it's totally fine. Now some interesting features like the implementation of AI has been the most uh, underrated feature of Android Pie. Well, adaptive brightness and adaptive battery are the most significant of them. Now, what seems to be the most anticipated and most needed feature to get rid of smartphone addiction is digital well-being. Well, it's basically an app that monitors how much time you have used and which app you have used. You can set app timers to block your apps after a certain period of time if you want. Battery life has been pretty decent giving me 3 hours of screen on time considering my 2300mAh battery and that the battery is almost 2.5 years old. Well, the standby is pretty good. So my final verdict is this ROM is a daily driver material and you can use it for daily use. Well, I'm using it for 2 weeks. So that's been it guys. Thanks for watching.